Sometimes when we get order of operations, you get these sentences. The words in there may confuse people. So in this particular case, as long as you follow the BODMAS rules, you just need to might have to adjust it a little bit when it comes to words. So the reason being, you'll see in a moment. Edward had 28 dirham to buy lunch from the canteen. He ordered a juice for five dirham and a shawarma for 11 dirham. The rest of the money, he halved equally among himself and Hamza. Lucky Hamza. So, first of all, Edward started off with 28 dirham. So I'm gonna put 28 here. Now normally, with its currency, or anything like that, you'd actually put whatever it is, A, E, D. Or fills, or dollars, or whatever your currency you're in. 28 dirham, and he minus five dirham for the juice. And then he also had a shawarma, cost 11 dirham, so you're taking away, minus 11. And then it says here, the rest of the money, he halved equally. So we spent 28 dirham, five dirham, 11 dirham. Down here, we've halved, which means we're gonna share or divide, you might use that. Divide by how many? How many people are there? Equally, himself and Hamza. Divided by two. Now, that, if I get, if I just show that there, that's an, uh, an equation. Okay, we haven't had to work it out, but that's the equation there. However, I'm looking at this, and because if I followed the order of operations, if I did this, I would be doing this. 11 divided by two would be the first thing I'd do, because according to this, there's no brackets. So if I did that, and I'm doing it wrong here, so please pick up my mistakes. 11 divided by two is 5.5, .5 or five and a half. And then I bring everything else down, 28, Minus five, minus 5.5. 28 minus five, if I do that, it's gonna end up with equals 17.5. Which doesn't sound right to me. 17.5, and we're talking currency, so it'd be Durham, which we know is can't, can't be right. So let's look at this again. 28 minus five minus 11 divided by two, because those are the right things. We actually have to put in some brackets to make this correct. So in this case, I would put it in right around that. 28 minus five would be 23. 23 minus 11, we still got the same operation in there, so 23 minus 11 will be 12. Then I bring this down. Divide by two. 12 divided by two would be six. So it would be six A E D. So as an expression, you just write that. You just need to put the brackets in to make sure it works. So if I look back here, Hamza had six theorem and he got six dirham. So six dirham each, six plus six. And the shawarma cost 11 dirham, and the juice cost five dirham. 11 plus five is 16, plus the six plus the six be 12, equals 28. 28 dirham, so that's what we started with. Okay, so just be aware, keep looking at it, um, equations, you just need to make copy it out, but you might need to be aware to put the brackets in. All right, let's look at the next one down. Could be the same situation, might not be. Further down, Malik had 53 pieces of candy, so I'm going to write 53. After Halloween, so well, that's tonight or tomorrow, I'm not sure. He ate seven of them, so minus seven before his brother ate six of Malik's candy. Ah, oh, I can't believe he did that. Minus six. The rest he shared equally 
between himself, his sister, mum and dad. Which means we're going to have to divide by how many? Himself, his sister, his mum, dad. So that's four, divided by four. Same situation here. If we don't put any brackets in, we're going to have the same problem. Six divided by four, it's not going to really suit us in this situation. We want to make it fit to this sentence. So again, this is where I'm going to have to use my brackets. And where do you think they would go? 53 minus 11 minus 6. 53 minus 7 minus 6 would end up being 40. I'm going to bring this one down. 40 divided by 4 equals 10. Each person would get 10. 10 times 4 is 40. Um, Zay, Malik's brother, ate 6. And Malik already ate in 7. So 13 plus 40 would give you 53. So just when you do these ones, just be aware you might need to put brackets in to make it correct. Alright, good luck.